welcome dear learner in senior secondary level painting course we are going to learn few things about drawing and painting when you draw and paint you draw mostly human figure animal figure nature and all these things among all these the most important thing is the human figure because it can express their emotions their movement are more rhythmic than any other creatures in this world so our first effort will be to learn how to draw a human figure so you ask anybody to sit for you as a model as here we see the lady is sitting on the chair and the artist also watching her very very minutely every movement every stage and every space of the area that she is occupied now the space is very important for this reason he has already made one such layout the areas are divided you can see this two empty area and the middle portion is covered by the heaviness of the model now the next thing is very important basing on this layout artist is gradually building up the structure structure is made of many things for the human figure it is the proportion between head and the body then the other limbs like hand arms foot everything is related and artist must take care the characteristics of the model also now you all know that there's a lot of changes takes place when man or woman grows older with ages a small child has a different kind of proportion they are mostly the head are larger than the torso and gradually it changes then at the young age the body is again very different it's stout agile in appearance and with the age is uh, gradually turns into fragility so the artist has to very carefully notice that characteristic here the artist is trying to capture the age the character and the proportion of the model as she is sitting in front of her now you notice artist is using three types of pencil one is soft one is very soft and one is hard he starts with the harder pencil than the softer one and gradually very light touch of the lines are very important because sometimes there are some mistakes and you have to erase that and if it's the pencil line is very dark it will mess the whole drawing so you use it very softly as he is doing gradually he is building the whole figure already the proportion between the head and the torso has been done the arms one is foreshortened and other is almost clear to see the whole part of the arms and gradually now he is moving towards the drapery the costumes or the dress she is wearing so take care the different textural quality of the uh, cloth skin hair and other things that is in front of you notice the movement of the artist's hand one thing very important how you are going to hold your pencil when we write generally we hold the pencil in the lower part very close to the lead 
but when you are drawing is better you hold the pencil always in the middle of the top of the pencil that gives you the fluidity of the movement of the hand. Again notice few things that is very important. The pressure of the pencil is not same all through. Sometime is very light and sometimes is very hard. You see this part it is very light and it is very hard. That means the weight is now actually of the model on one of our feet. So, here to put the pressure and the weight of the foot he has used to little dark tone. Now, almost the whole structure is complete. And one thing you should remember, the proportion is very important thing. Artist does not measure anything for understanding proportion. It is share his visual experience. From this experience, he learns the perfect measurement of the proportion. And he uses that in that way. You can see the proportion between the head and the torso and the leg part, I mean the lower part is very, very nicely done by the artist. Now the face part. Every human being has its own character, which is different from animal figure drawing. It is very difficult to differentiate normally the differences between the expression and other features in other animals. They appear almost same to us, but human faces are very, very different. Each face could be recognized easily by their typical characteristics. So, when you are trying to capture the human figure in front of you who is sitting as model, take care to bring the characteristics of the face. When you study a figure, it is something else where you have to be accurate about it, but when you are sketching, it is not that important because you are not actually painting a portrait. For portrait, it is very important to keep the resemblance at ease, but not for any other such studies. So, here we just try to capture the general characteristics of her face. You can see a little plumpy, small nose, deep seated eyes, and his very, very freshness in the face that has been captured by the artist in this painting. Human hair is also one very important thing to recognize the character of the model. The hairstyle we say in our easy term. So, hairstyles also makes a personality of the model. So, here we see a typical style of today's woman that uh, the hair left loose. Here he is trying to capture the flow of the hair and the wavy line of the hair in his effort to get the character of the hair. Now, it is always better you start detailing from the top. There are two reasons for it. One thing you give more emphasis on the face that takes little more time than other part of the human figure. Generally human figure of same size or uh, same weight are not much different, but when it comes to the face each model has their own character. We all have one nose, two eyes, two eyebrows etcetera etcetera. In spite of that, 
there are a lot of differences between the faces of different models. So, capturing that thing little uh, takes little more time than other part of the body. You just watch how the tiny and small touches make the portrait so recognizable. You need not always go for very detail, just one touch as you can see the touch in the nose, the touch in the two sides of the lips and the eye everything is not done very very minutely, but only simple artistic touch wh what we call it we get everything very very clearly. Now, watch how the shading is done. There are many ways to shade your figure, human figure or anything. You can do it in dots, you can do it with lines, you can rub even the pencil with cloth on that. So, it is up to you which kind of shading you prefer. And according to that, you use the shading of the without shading, you can't get the modeling of the figure. It appears very flat without shading. So, shading is very important, which is not that important when you are sketching. In sketching, you are just trying to get the structure of something, but when you are studying, you are trying to capture every thing in a human figure or animal figure or anything. So, always take care of shading your painting or drawing perfectly and choose a particular way and follow the same all over. Here the artist prefer lines for his sh uh, shading. So, you can see how he is using lighter tone and darker tone with that lines. Now, another very tricky thing when you draw the hand. At the end of the arm, this hand, and there are five fingers of different sizes and different texture. Young hands has more clear and smooth texture. The children arm are softer and young or old people's hands have lot of differences in the texture. So, try to capture all this in the wrinkles for the old people and smoothness for the young. Here you can see that how the bending of the fingers are clearly and very easily captured by the artist. He has not worked much on that, just a few lines, two, three lines was enough to capture that. Now, he is drawing the drapery or the cloth. She is attired in a kurta and kameej. In color you can see is bright red with some motifs of design in the border, but since it is in black and white you can avoid the depth of the colors. Red turns into gray or black in black and white painting or sculpture, but when you are drawing with these pencils you preferably use the softer pencil to get the darkness of the drapery. Now, she